Well, hey everybody, it is Fist25, and as you can see, we are signed into Spectrum right now. We're going to do a video on how to duel, how to do dual joysticks in uh, Star Citizen, and this video is going to start right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And so I had a request on how to do, I've had actually many requests um, by more than a few people on how I do my dual joystick setup. Um, and so we are here at a Spectrum page by a post by a guy named uh, Buzzkiller, if you can see it on the screen, Buzzkiller, this guy. And he has an awesome setup and he changes his setup every single patch. Um, and so this is kind of my go-to here. And he has bindings for dual Verpal Alphas, Deltas, and T16,000Ms, which is the joysticks I have. I have two of those. And if you've ever used two joysticks in Star Citizen, uh, it changes the way you play the game. And it's just phenomenal. It's called Six Degrees of Freedom, and it truly is. Um, I've, I've really gotten the hang of it, and I'm able to dogfight with them really well. Um, so... We're going to start off with this link on this Spectrum page, and I'll, I'll put all the links to everything in the description of the video so you can start off where I'm at. Um, but he actually has, Buzzkiller has a, a link here to his YouTube of kind of how to do some setup and stuff like that. Um, I think it's it's only up to date for 3.8, it looks like, but um, it's not that hard to do. So we're going to try to do it here on stream, or on stream, on, on the video here, and... Uh, you know, we'll get going with that. First off, like he has all these pictures and stuff like that. And everybody's like, thanks. And that's great. But the big thing here is you need to go to his Dropbox link, which is below here. And um, I've already got that up. So I'm going to pop up his Dropbox. And so now we're here at his Dropbox. And uh, we can see under joystick files, uh, he has blank binding charts, old files, and Star Citizen Alpha 3. 12 live uh, again it's it's up to date so we're going to go ahead and click on the alpha 312 and then we have a readme file uh some troubleshooting a t16000 verbal alphas verbal deltas obviously we're going to go with the t16000 but the first thing i'm going to do is open up this readme.rtf and so when this is open it kind of gives you directions and i i might even have to uh go back and take a look at this stuff um <laughs> It kind of sometimes, you know, I haven't done this in a long time. I just kind of update in the game as I go. Um, let me zoom this out a little bit. So we're going to download his latest binding file. Um, and basically, you can put it wherever you want. Um, and I, I store it in its own little uh, folder. Let me bring up my folder here. Um, so hopefully, yeah, you can see that now. So if you go to your, I hope you have your Star Citizen on an SSD. You're going to go to your your wherever you have your files. Um, I have it in C drive, program files, Robert Space Industries, uh, in Star Citizen. And you see, I save everything in this Buzz joystick bindings here. So if I double click into that, uh, it gives you the binding charts, the Joy to Key config files, the export, uh, exported bindings, all this kind of stuff. So while we're mentioning Joy to Key, I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, the Joy to Key website because you're going to need to use this for his bindings. So before we get in, I know I'm bouncing around all over the place, but there's there's kind of a few things you have to have. So if you go, uh, what I did was I did a Google search and it took me to joytokey.net and um, you go to this page and you just go to downloads. Uh, it's a free download um, and you just you'll install it in uh, Windows. And uh, you're going to get files from um, from Buzz. And but first off, you got to have the program installed, right? And so when you have the program installed and it pops up, um, what you're going to have is uh, Buzzkiller T16, Joy to Key 1, and Joy to Key Mirrored. And it's going to be one of the two setups. So the way you know which stick is what is I'm grabbing my left stick right now. As you can see, I'm moving it around and I'm going to press the trigger button. And that that gives me the right control. That means the Joy to Key 1 setup is my actual setup. If I and I'll notice I'm on joystick two. If I'm on joystick one, nothing happens because it's my right joystick. But joystick two, I have but one set is right control. That's what you want. If I go to the mirrored side and I start moving around and I hit the trigger under button one, nothing happens. 
There's no right control there. So that's the wrong setup. What I want is joy to key one. And I want the joystick two. Um, whatever I, my left stick, because I am right-handed. So I, I move the nose of the ship with my right joystick. And I do my thrusters with my left joystick. But the modifier button, the only thing, as you can see in joy to key, nothing is changed here except for one button on joystick two. And that's the trigger. That trigger button is a modifier to use all the other buttons on both joysticks. So whatever commands you have set up, right control is the key for the modifier. And that's all Joy to Key does is it it actually sets a, a key binding. So when I'm actually hitting this right control, it's like it's hitting it on my keyboard. So that's uh, that's the Joy to Key setup there. So go ahead and download this and install it. Uh, and there's like a, there's some more information on the README, um, but you're going to go download his latest binding file for your setup. Um, and then you're going to find your Star Citizen live user controls mappings, and you're going to place the exported XML into this folder. So um, let's go ahead and go to his Dropbox here. That's now super small. Um, so we're going to go to the T16,000Ms. And over here, you have a troubleshooting chart. Um, you have the binding chart the joy to key files and the exported bindings. And so I have like, I have his binding chart up here. And if you want, you can print this guy out here from Buzzkiller, and um, you'll have what all the buttons do. I don't use them all. I just use basically about 10 of them and mostly it's trigger afterburner, stuff like that. But if you want, you can use, and you can also change all this stuff for landing gear and for quantum drive and acceleration limiter and all that kind of stuff. It tells you what everything does. Plus, it'll tell you what the modifier does. This guy down here, um, modifier with the left trigger, it has an M by it. So if you look at the M, like button two here, right, which is the missile button on my right joystick, if I just hit, just if I just hit that button by itself, I will lock missiles. If I hold it down, I will launch missiles. If I uh, do the modifier and hold it down, it'll cycle my mission type. Now, I have that set up specifically in Star Citizen to cycle forward. Um, and I've had to do that myself because I haven't changed binding since 3.10. Um, but it'll it'll kind of do that already if you, if you download his files new. Um, and then the D key is double tap, and that does work. It'll actually unlock your missile lock from that person. So you got a modifier. Uh, the J is the bound with joy to key. D is double tap. H is hold. And then plus is an additional function. And that stuff's up in the hat switch. Um, anyway, so that's a binding chart. Then you have some troubleshooting stuff in here as well. Um, we're not going to worry about that necessarily right now, but we would go to his Dropbox here and we're going to go to star citizen exported bindings. And we're going to download this XML file. Um, while you're doing that, and I would recommend putting in, in its own its own folder. Um, uh, but for now, you can keep it in the download section. You also need to download the joy to key files, uh, both grab the mirrored and grab the regular one because you're going to need both of them uh, just in case. Because I've had my sticks switch on me before when I uh, like when I reboot my computer, the USBs just kind of come up in a different order. And so whenever I reboot my computer or and definitely before you're in the game, you have to load up your joy to key um, and you have to go in here and figure out which which is a joy to key one or joy to key mirror that has your right control button on your left trigger. So download all that stuff. It's in your directory. And then um, we're going to go ahead. And once you once you have it in there, you're going to like I told you, I made my own bindings file. I put my joy to key config files in there. My star citizen exported bindings. You can see I have all these files in here. Um, Put all that stuff in one folder. I like to keep it in Star Citizen because that's what it's the only thing I use it for. I got binding charts in there, C310. That's the last time I actually downloaded. I just kind of update inside Star Citizen. So um, what it says to do is go find your Robert Space Industries folder, go to Live, User, Controls, and then Mappings. So I'm going to go to Live, User, Controls, and Mappings. And you can see already, now I do have game glass in here too, right? Because um, I do use it from time to time. But I have my uh, Buzzkiller layout. Uh, this is 3.11 was the last one I downloaded from that one. Um, and then I have I have saved my own um, keyboard uh, and mouse mappings. 
And then I used to use target FCS duo um, before I used the buzz killer stuff. So that's why all that stuff is saved in there. Um, so let's read the, the uh, readme file here. Start the game, click on options, key bindings, advanced controls, control profiles. So let's go. I already have the game loaded up. Let's bring this up. So we're going to go to options. We're going to go to controls, right? I think we're going to go all the way over to your joystick. Is that what it said? Let me uh, see. I, that's why I have this up here. <laughs> You're going to go. I'm sorry. You go to key bindings, advanced controls, customization and control profiles. So we're going to go to key bindings, advanced, and we're going to go to profiles. Now, first thing I'm going to do is go over to joystick, right? Don't do this. I, yeah, I guess you could do it on keyboard and mouse, but you're really going to do it on joystick. I think you're going to click on control profiles. Now he says for here, um, select the following options. Keyboard none, mouse none, gamepad none, joystick to joystick for all three joysticks. After you've done this, you can load his bindings from the main menu. Click on options. Uh, so what we're going to do here, is, I'm sorry, let me make this clear. We're going to clear all the device bindings. But for here, only for joysticks. Now, you can clear all of them if you want to. But <clears throat> what it wants you to do is go to clear, clear all device bindings. You're going to none on everything. But for this one, you're going to go to joystick, joystick, joystick. I'm going to hit cancel because I'm not actually going to do it. Um, but um, after you've done this, you can load as bindings from the main menu. Click on options, key bindings, advanced control profiles, and then... Uh, go to his thing here and select which devices to bind. So we're going to select his guy here. Now it's probably for you. It's going to say 312. Um, you click here and then you're going to do both your joysticks, right? And that's how you do the basic setup there. Um, and I, I don't think there's much more than that. Um, let's see here. When selecting joystick on the import menu, set both sticks to joystick. Don't worry about joystick one or two as it no longer matters. After binding your joysticks using my exported files, if the joysticks are swapped, left is on the right or vice versa. You bring up the Star Citizen console by pressing the tilde key and then type the following EP underscore resource devices joystick one, two, and that'll swap your joysticks around. Um, he has some other troubleshooting tips here. I'm not going to go over them too much. Um, and here's the joy to key installation. I mean, he provides such good instructions on how to do this. Um, and then to change your curves and stuff like that. Um, and then there's also some T16,000 troubleshooting notes on sensitivity curves and stuff. I haven't messed with any of it. I've just gotten used to how it is. So if we go into the game, um, we go to joystick, Hotas. Um, as we, you know, we, we look around here, um, now that we have our joysticks loaded in and our joy to key, you know, it was loaded up before we started the game. Um, you can start going around in, in the flight here and looking at movement and you can see that everything's tied to the joysticks already. And you can see here, swap, yaw, roll. Hey, that's right control plus button nine. I don't remember what buttons button nine, but it doesn't matter. Um. I don't really use it, <laughs> but let's, let's do something I use all the time. Let's go to missiles and we can see missiles uh, to acquire missiles is uh, this is the right stick. It's button two and then launch missile hold right stick button two and hold. And then to cycle the missile type, I set this up myself. I use the modifier on the left stick and then button two, that's already going to be set up for you. And I just cycle my missiles forward. I don't cycle them back because they'll just recycle. But basically on the left stick, I will hold the trigger and I will select missile on my um, on the left stick. I will hold the trigger. I'll select missile on my right stick and it'll just cycle the missiles through. So that's something I use that modifier for all the time. Um, and you can set up whatever you want here as, as far as all this stuff goes. Um, if you're looking for whatever uses the modifier, it's going to be anything that has that right control on it. Um, so you can see, OK, for target cycling, um, what I like and what I'm used to is the guy that's in the, your reticle. Um, I hit on my hat switch on my right stick. I hit up and that'll that'll target him. Um, if I want to cycle uh, attackers forward, I hit right control and then I hit right on the hat 
Otherwise, that's all attackers. If I want to do just hostiles towards me, I'll just do the right hand by itself, which is typically how I get the, the closest uh, the closest to me. And then, and, you know, you can set it up however you want, and you can use your sticks at this point in Star Citizen to set all that stuff up. So that's basically how you do it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Um, I'm not sure what else I could tell you. Uh, go to these links. Um, he has his own YouTube video up here. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit of overview, but basically we'll go over it one more time. You go to the Dropbox. When you get to the Dropbox, um, you are going to go to the Star Citizen Alpha 312 Live. You're going to go to T16000M. Um, before you do that, you're going to want to bring up the README in a different, in a different window. You're going to download his exported bindings. And you're going to download his joy to key files. And now as far as oh, I didn't go over joy to key. So when we bring up joy to key, you got to have these files in some directory. Right? And then it, he tells you uh, what to do as far as um, your joy to key stuff and how to uh, associate your files with joy to key. Um, I don't quite remember because I've done this forever. So, yeah, I think that's what you what you do is you go to file open config and then uh, notice I have the stuff in documents. Joy to key is where I put mine and I have both of those configs in there. And those are the ones I used. And so I have two basic config. If you have a different configuration in there, feel free to delete it once you import another configuration here and you can rename them and delete them and copy them and create new ones or whatever you want. But you got to pick your joystick and then this is the guy I have. And then I just minimize joy to key and I do my thing in Star Citizen and boom, there you go. So that's a nice, quick, short video for you. A little bit long, I guess, 16 minutes, <laughs> almost 17 minutes. Everybody be good. I hope you learned something from this. Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how it works for you. Uh, if you really are having trouble with this, we can. I I'm definitely down to help you do this live, like on a Discord chat or something like that. With, you can stream your screen and we can get it all set up. Um, hit me up. Uh, you can find me on either Sons of Valhalla or the Corber Force Discord. Should be links at our webpage, fisticjava.org, or in the description below. And we'll see you on the next video. Good night, Stan.